Surprise box from Toe Collectibles. Open it. You ever notice how Toe Collectibles always has this really nice tape? <laughs> wow. Wow, there's even some little goodies in here too. Thank you, Toe Collectibles. <laughs> the Desire Driver. I remember when Geach was first announced, I wasn't really feeling the driver all that much, but then I got to actually show it off. I got to debut it in America during uh, Paramorphicon 2022. And with Mr. Toe Collectibles right next to me too, like just showcasing it right then, then and there, like for the first time in America, it blew my mind simply just by like, how cool it looks in person because if i'm being honest the toy scans didn't grab me all that much but actually having it you know face to face with you it is really really nice so our first little goodie a little buckle this one's the wizard driver I remember saying that just clicking these was like addicting and I think I'm just gonna keep doing this like all day. <laughs> and the second thing, this is a surprise, uh, CSM straps. I, I really like the CSM version of straps. Uh, I mean, obviously they're more high quality and they actually fit. And these, like, like I've never had them outside of the CSM ones. I believe these are custom straps and these alone, like these feel really high quality. Yeah, no, no way I'm gonna use the original ones now that I now that I have these. So without further ado, let's look a little more in depth, shall we? I think just showing off more of its functionality and how you really can mix and match really does make it stand out a little bit more, especially on top, the back, the sides. Crazy how I'm how I'm happy just by holding the box. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. First off. I gotta show this part off because th this is always one of my favorite parts and just like seeing how, how they organize all, all of it together. And it was a big surprise just seeing the Toko Lectables uh, ID core there. I, I, that, that's, re that's really neat. I, I like that a lot. <laughs> I believe I'm also holding this upside down. <laughs> it, it really is surreal seeing like these, these Japanese toys like in your hands in America. Uh, especially after you see them on TV, you know, the Japanese Kamen Rider and Super Sentai and Ultraman, but then you see that the toys actually are incredibly high quality compared to the American toys. I mean, the American toys aren't bad, but I'm just saying the Japanese toys are, are expensive for a reason. <laughs> You're as beautiful as the day I lost you. Wow. This looks and feels incredibly high quality. Okay, okay, Let, let's, let's try out a little buckle here. Henshin! So I've actually never heard the, uh, the Legend Rider uh, buckles versions of these, but uh, they're pretty much what I expect. Uh, the lights and sounds. <laughs> wow, this this has been surprising me with like every second I'm holding it. So recent Kamen Rider belts haven't been like the most grabbing to me for some reason. Like I, I like the Zero One driver. I think the the Revice one is is okay. Uh, Saber one. But this one probably stands out to me, even, I'd say even in the modern day for Kamen Rider, uh, you know, like Zero or uh, Geo's is like, okay. Uh, I, I love the gimmicks for Geo, but the driver itself is okay. The uh, the build driver is okay. The gamer driver is okay. But this, this is a driver. Just seeing, like comparing it from like the naked version without the buckles to these ginormous ones. You know, the, the angle is really weird. I, I prefer to be more symmetrical in half instead of just this angle, because otherwise they, these just look kind of odd on their own. So one thing I do like seeing is how the buckles themselves actually work, you know, like the insides and stuff. So you can tell that there's ridges alongside here. And whenever you try to play with them, then you see the functionality behind there.
I absolutely love the quote unquote jingles for this season because they're short and they just say like two lines and that's it. I've always gravitated more towards like the double kinds of jingles where they you just use like like I don't know like a like Joker Joker do no no but this one is pretty much y simple and of course this does come with the actual uh, Geats ID core. It's uh, the, the ID cores don't do anything. They don't add functionality. They're just there for the cosmetics. You can pretty much make your own, and I think that's what that's one reason why I like this so much because Geats itself opens up to so many like possibilities to OCs or just I don't know just just having fun with it. Especially if you just want to make your own uh, Geats writer. You think of an animal, you think of a name, and and there you go. You're you're a part of the Desire Grand Prix, and I think that that's pretty cool for like every fan, new and old. And then, and aside from these two big buckles, it also comes with the hammer one. You might not play with the hammer too much, but I personally really really like hammer. But this this is one I was having fun a lot at PMC when I was showing off the driver. Like just just doing this is fun, like even in the bag. The next weird thing, which is more of a weird thing to me, is that this looks incredibly jarring. Even in the show, this looks really weird. And you can only get that from Kamen Rider. You can only get this kind of functionality and fun and, and, and just creativity out of tokusatsu. I love, I love this so much. I think this might be my favorite driver so far. My previous favorite driver was the Ghost Driver. I always liked it so, so much, especially the sounds. But this, I think, might beat that out. I think I like the playability and function and the overall design with, with everything together. I think I like it so much, I am definitely gonna have to say the Desire Driver is my favorite driver so far. Thank you so much to Talk Collectibles for the review unit. I've been wanting this for so long and now I can say I've fully played with it and it's all in my hands and I think I am in the Desire Grand Prix now. Oh no. <laughs> Caleb? I should probably stop recording videos right after I get out of the shower. It's starting to get really, really obvious. So I haven't bought Toku toys in like, I want to say a year. And that's mostly because they are really expensive. I think uh, most people in the Toga community know that because, you know, a driver can be about like $100. Even getting like a keychain or a plushie can be pretty expensive too, like especially with shipping uh, from uh, third party stores uh, overseas. But I bought some Toga toys recently because I couldn't help myself. <laughs> when it comes to at least Kamen Rider, I try to get one thing from each season to represent that season. And, and it's usually something small, like a keychain is usually enough for me. But when I really like something, I try to get something bigger, like a figure or even a driver. But uh, I like using Toe Collectibles. I've been using them a lot more recently, especially with the toys I've been buying. And they're pretty much one of the go-to sources to buy directly from Japan, not using uh, a middleman or not using another uh, website like, like Mandarake or Bai or anything like that. And their prices are usually a little more than the Japanese MSRP, but that's only because, well, you don't have to go through a middleman. And shipping is usually free from them so I'd, I, I recommend them a lot and every year they try to give away these uh, these loot boxes or mystery boxes however you want to call them they call them mystery boxes for all these different toku they have Super Sentai, Power Rangers, Ultraman, uh, Demon Slayer uh, yeah my, my favorite tokusatsu but obviously I was gonna buy the Kamen Rider one and I wanted to buy the large box it got sold out super super fast so I got the medium box. Mr. Toko Collectibles, where do you get your tape? Because I really love the designs for these. E even with like the Geats driver, I really like... Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm being weird. Let let's just... Let's just open this up. Ooh, alright, alright. Already seen lots of blue and a little box there. <laughs> oh, you can't even pop these. Okay. Toko Collectibles merch, of course. The sticker and... They have mints? Sugar-free mints? What the heck? I, I actually really like mints. I have like three boxes on my desk at work. So I'm definitely gonna put this there just because... Uh, I, I don't know. I like mints. So you, can, you can never have bad breath. <laughs> that apple cobbler sticker. Baggy. Ooh, now this is looking spicy. Okay, how, how's that? How's that? <laughs> Conrad uh, Buffa. 
Choco Kurimo. Yeah, they, these are these are little chocolates from Japan. They're they're the Geats one. Uh, I'm I'm not I'm not one of those people who are, who like hoards these as part of my collection. I'm most likely gonna eat these. That's actually not bad. It's a little different from what from like your average uh, chocolate wafer, but it's not bad. Maybe a little too chocolatey for me. So these are little just little figures. Uh, let's see. There's Revice and Geats. Collect them all, of course. This is a decent size one. This is uh, the RKF figure for Geo. The Forza armor. Uh, so you guys may or may not know, I am not the biggest fan of, uh, of the Geo armors because I don't know, they, they just never look good to me. The, the, this one might look decent, but hey, um, I'm not gonna complain about a, a figure at all because I, I do like figures. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not the figure guy, but I, I don't mind figures. Oh, it's a keychain. It's a keychain of a uh, of heat metal in there. A couple of uh of stamps, spies and gaim. Not bad. Not bad. Actually, are these are DX ones. These are SG versions. So the biggest difference is that the SG ones just kind of feel a little cheaper. <laughs> the DX ones uh obviously have like all the all the sounds and stuff. I mean, th these have sounds too, but they're not like the DX ones. Uh, which one should I take out? I like the Fies one, so I'll take this one out. So, in case you guys haven't gotten uh, Japanese toys before, they usually come with these little mints. Or they're like sourish kind of mints. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of these. I, I do like these a lot, <laughs> surprisingly. So here it is. Wow, that's, that's a lot of packaging for, for a stamp. Another big difference between DX and SG is that DX ones, the stamps you can actually like press down, but these they, they don't have any mechanisms to, to go in there. And also, you can't push the button. A lot of the sounds come from the button in the back here. Ride watch stage set. You see that the, the little ride watch face there? That's quite literally all, all it is. It doesn't come with the figure or anything. It's just the stage set, and it comes with the ones here. I don't think I have anything else to say about this one. <laughs> Ooh. This, I have no idea what it is. I, I usually have some sort of idea. Oh, let me see. I just I just read that it says clear. Again, I really don't know what what this is. <laughs> Did it break? Did I break it? Uh, I think I broke it. <laughs> or did I break it? No, I'm gonna blame my mailman. I'm not gonna blame my mailman. Don't blame your mailman. It it's broken. Still, I don't know what that is. That's it. <laughs> Happy fiftieth anniversary. And now the big thing. So most of these have been coming with plushies or other like uh, figures. And this one came with the plushie. Oh, it's G3. I like plushies. I'm actually a big fan of plushies. I, I have lots of bags, jackets, and lots of plushies. So this is gonna, this is gonna go on my work desk. <laughs> Seeing it upside down in the box, I thought it, this was actually like a B fighter uh, plushie, but no, there's G3. It's not even G3X, I believe there's just regular G3. Very cute though. I, I do I do like this. <laughs> if I could collect a lot of these plushies, I definitely would, but these can get expensive too. And now I now lastly, Super Terebikun. So the, this is my first one, uh weirdly enough. Yeah, I guess that's it. I, I could show you a little bit of what's in here. They're showing off the uh, Hyper Battle video for Revice, showing off around this arc for Geese. And yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. There's some Gun Rising in the back, some uh, the front. So overall, yeah, this really does feel like a mystery box. <laughs> so the medium sized boxes were about $65. I believe the large ones were about 120, something like that. So for $65, all of this isn't bad. I I would say it's it's pretty much like like around the the pri the price that for for what I got it for. Mostly because of the plushie. The plushie does make up a lot of that chunk. But hey, for for these and a little bit of chocolate, I, I'm happy enough with it. Uh, honestly, again, I'm really mostly happy of the because of the plushie. I really love the plushie. It's so cute. I. Uh, I'm gonna name him, um, G3. <laughs> you know, if someone really was crazy enough, maybe they'd save this, uh, Geet's chocolate for, like, a hundred years. 
And then a hundred years later, they'd be like, ah, come on, I eat choco desu. And then you'd be like, oh, I'll buy that for like, for, for like a uh, hundred yen or something. I don't know. Stale, just like the character. I'm kidding. <laughs> Ace Geats is actually really cool. Okay, uh, third day of opening a package. And this is kind of a big one too. Uh, well, it's, I, I say it's big, but you know, for Toku, Toku toy, Toku toy people like us, I don't know. But what, what's even a big box anymore? I think I just lost track. And this one is actually from, this one is from Gem and Fi. Ooh. <laughs> so, I have a bit of a confession to make. Oh, jeez. Um, maybe I do like Saber? Jem said a, an extra book would be included. And honestly, I forgot, I keep forgetting gimmick toys even have their own kind of packaging. Cause I, I know like the SD and SG versions uh, do come with like their own little, little, little packagings, but like a whole box like this, I honestly forgot they even had them. Lucky Brave Dragon. Maybe I forgot if this was in the show, or maybe this is like a promotional item, but I completely forgot about this one. And it's DX, so like, I do like the idea of books as gimmicks, and uh, this one, I, I they just grew on me, okay? Look, they're so cute. I like these a lot. They're so cute. <laughs> Even during my, my Saber hate days, I still liked Daisenji. I still liked Kamen Rider Slash. So I was planning on get, getting this one eventually because like I, like I keep saying, I try to get one thing from each season. And this was the one thing I personally really wanted because this is my favorite sword. This is my favorite uh, Seiken um, out of the show. It's been so long since, I, since I've seen like an actual just like toku toy outside of like the geats one i showed the the other the other time wow i i forget just like how high quality these are i know you've probably heard this a lot you've probably oh wow <laughs> you're probably tired of hearing it but yeah i'm not a fan of how small uh the henshin weapons can be henshin items that, that, that's why I prefer a belt or maybe even like, like the cell phone changers or the wrist ones because they usually are accurate more closer to the show. While if you have a weapon or even like the ninja ones, they have to be made smaller. They're not going to be, you know, ginormous like in the show. But I did grow to like these a little bit more. I mean, I still wish there was like an actual slash one. It is not the worst thing either. Okay, yeah, this is pretty nice, uh, but still, uh, as as you will always hear, they are small, and, and even for me, like I'm I'm not I'm not very tall, especially to those who actually met me at Paramorphicon or something. I'm not very tall, and even for a short king like me, this is still really short. But it is not bad. It is actually kind of a nice display piece, and clicking this opens a book. The one thing I still don't like is how it opens up like this and there's like nothing to real for it to grab onto. So if you go like this, it just goes back and forth a lot. I mean, you, you can't help that, but now for the big one. So you guys might know already that the uh, you can buy the, the sword driver, the sword with, with just the brave dragon by itself. But this is the combo pack where it comes with two other books. And that's basically it. You most likely just spend like 20 more dollars or a couple more books. Which, hey, that isn't the worst thing ever. Ooh, did not miss this. Yep, still really tiny. The Slash Sword is a lot bigger. And, man. <sighs> Even if I grew to like Saber a little bit more, still not a fan of the size for this one specifically. The Slash Sword, I can probably just give some leeway just because it doesn't come with the driver but this one yep 
I might say it's even smaller than the slash sword. I probably should have kept that out so that way I can compare it. I want to say I missed you, but I would be lying. Still not the biggest fan of the Seiken Sword Driver. However, I have something else coming in that you'll see in the next recording. And I felt like I kind of needed to have this for a reason. Well, especially for Legacy of Saber, since I want to just, you know, have it spinning and be like, so the Seiken Sword Driver is kind of stinky. Yeah, but hey. Why is it so small? That looks so awkward. Like, even with one, it would still look awkward. Well, that's it for now. Uh, I'm also excited for what's coming tomorrow. Oh. Okay, this is the last unboxing video, finally. And I had to move the camera further back because... Oh, this is probably one of the biggest boxes I've ever gotten in Toku. <laughs> this is ginormous. It doesn't even fit in the camera. <laughs> you guys might already suspect what it is, especially with what I said in the last unboxing segment, but I personally never thought I would be getting this. Yep, has to be packaged pretty well. There's, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of it. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna get judged so hard for this, but hey, 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 hey. Wow. Where do I even start? I, I don't even have the uh, the actual driver with this, but uh, hey, that's kind of why I bought the, uh, the Seiken Sword driver. So maybe you guys saw in my Paramorphicon video, but I was able to hold the uh, the Seiken, the sword, the, the saber one, the main one. But this is the newish one that just came out specifically for Falcon. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, first off, I was kind of expecting it to be wrapped a little more. But you, you can already see the... Maybe you can see. The sword itself isn't wrapped, but everything else is. Oh. Oh my goodness. Just this alone looks kind of cool. Oh. oh Never in my life that I think I'd be excited over receiving something saber related okay okay okay, okay. <sighs> battery's not included apparently <sighs> sorry i was admiring this this is gorgeous okay okay so let's see a comparison That's not a knife. This is a knife. This this whole segment is just gonna be me admiring the the source. It's getting dusty really fast though. This was like my one big purchase for the year, and I think it was worth it. I wow. <laughs> is there anything else more I could say? No. <laughs> Thank you, Tokolectibles, for having this. <laughs>